It's DJ Holiday and Ebony, a.k.a. the Averys. Stay tuned. Dinner with the Avery season two, baby. We are back, of course, and um, we have a special guest. Uh, I don't, you want me to do my DJ Holiday introduction <laughs> yeah. for like one of the most iconic female rappers <laughs> in the Not game, uh, sure, a part of one of the, one of the biggest groups to ever mm-hmm. come out of Atlanta, mm-hmm. Georgia. The uh, back hits back hits on top bandit. of hits. <laughs> the, the reason why all the girls shook their dreads in the club uh-huh. and turned up and uh, swang their hips and all that other stuff and rocking their rocking their uh-huh. hips, you know uh-huh. all that. Good. And, and, and their what? And their what? Stiletto. 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 Pumps in the club. club. Okay. Come on, man. Okay. Miss Princess is in the building, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up? What's yes, up? What's up? Yeah. what's up, P? I'm here, man. I'm ready to talk some stuff. Yeah. And eat. Yeah. And talk some more. That's right. That's so, right. So, so just to be real with our audience, uh, you know, we're definitely excited that you're here, man. Yes. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna dig into too much stuff, but we're gonna have some you fun. Can dig. A little oh, bit. We, we can, you can dig. You can dig a little bit. All right, cool. Dig. We can go. Okay. We can go shade room. I'm trained. Okay, cool. <laughs> don't be dancing around our questions now. We family. People don't dance no more. Oh, All they do God. is this. <laughs> All they do. Anyway, <laughs> first and foremost, though, congratulations on your song. Well, the group song being Ooh. in the new Knuckles. Yes, that is amazing. Yo, that is amazing. That's when like, I heard it, listen. you know, every time I see like you know movies and stuff like that previews, I always think of like. Damn, what song could be dope? Like to be mm-hmm. redid and be in the uh, trailer, and knuck, knuckle, knuck a few buttons. It makes sense with Idris Elba playing knuckles. Like knuck, knuck if you buck knuckles. That's perfect. So yeah. when y'all got the phone call, what happened? How, 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 does, how does how does happen? How does it like, happen? Um, I check my email like I normally do. Really? And I see uh, Costco, <laughs> LA Fitness. Oh da, da, da. I love and Costco's by the way. It's like. Bring my spirit is like money, uh. and I was like, "Oh, something." Hey, what this. really happened now? I'm, my spirit. You. Okay, go ahead. My spirit said, "Bing." I clicked on the bing, and it was like I saw Nook, and it said "urgent." I was like, Uh-oh. "Oh shit!" <laughs> okay. And then I looked at it, and it was like, "Urgent requests, timely matter to use Nook if you book in nice. Knuckles trailer." I started crying. Well, who was it from? Hi. Universal Studios? It was like from Sony, 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 Paramount, Dope. and uh, one other company. And they hit you before they hit anybody else. That yeah, so you know, dope. you know, they got to hit that email, you know, because that email been the same since 02. Um, and then my brother signed the EMI, so of course they hit him. That's, yeah, yeah. He gets the big Lil Jay on the track get the check. He gets 58% of the song. <laughs> yeah, he has about. to say yes. Right, right. <laughs> I love That's Jay. Shout out to dope. Jay, man. How yeah, does King so, uh, feel about man, it? Man, I wanted to pick him up from school and be like, baby, we made it. Like, <laughs> this was my first moment as a we made it moment. Aww. It wasn't. Really? Yeah, You done man. did a lot of big shit. I'm a lot of big stuff. But with the, the big Knuckles stuff. Trailer? Came with a lot of group arguments. Okay, okay. Somebody being late, payment late, mm. trauma, drama. It always had something attached. Oh, I get what you're this saying. This was the first time where I could sit in the moment and be like, wow, we That's made dope. it. That's and dope. then when my son came home and I was like, okay, I have to tell you something. <laughs> He's like, what is it? Knuckles wants to use our song. Aww. And he... First thing he did, can I see the contract? <laughs> what? Oh my God. That's right. He King. looks at every right. piece of paper and he zones, <laughs> he zooms in on the number and be like, comma zero zero. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's good if it has a comma, right? It is great if it has a comma, baby. If it That's has what you're about, two man. commas, Smart it man. is amazing. So, so the check is nice. <laughs> the check was good. You know, we gotta divide it and divide right, and divide. Right. But the streaming, the all of that, the the it's one of the oh, biggest. The yeah, yeah, for sure. It's one of the biggest trailers that they've mm. um, presented mm. in nice. years. So mm. they're they're making miss uh, history. Um, they did it on the Super Bowl. I'm getting emotional all over again. Yeah. They uh, presented it for the Super Bowl. It was one of the Super Bowl commercials. So it's just man, breaking you never records, know where those type man. of things are gonna come from. I love those unexpected God is good, checks. Good man. Swear. God, yeah. those unexpected ones. So can like, somebody please use bricks? Please. <laughs> Gucci, <laughs> somebody, yes, oh, somebody, wow. please, yeah. use, please. Bricks. Like, use bricks. White, use bricks. But yeah. look, it's it will come, it will come around, and we never in a million years thought 
22 years later, Man. 22 years later, six kids from the east side of Atlanta That's mm. will be... <laughs> Man, we what going to Japan. One, what about that one movie that uh that they uh it was a TV show with Regina? Oh, Hunk for Jesus. Yeah, yeah. they they did like a little montage to it in like yeah. in the car. That was dope. got paid for that too. That. Yeah, that's that was dope. dope. How, and they had to learn that too. How does yeah. it feel to have like such a timeless song? Like y'all, like you mm. said, twenty two years. How does that? Feel? It's it's like I don't think it's ever gonna be. A time oh, when we don't want to hear that song. I played, I played it. We played it. In, oh, I, I played it <laughs> in guitar. Guitar. Oh, yeah. really? They went Dubai. crazy. With the oh, crazy. Yeah. With steps to like, yeah. like, yeah. Not yeah. like that, but yeah. No, yeah. they was dancing. They listen. Oh, they, just like yeah. us. <laughs> but like, how does that feel? It's because amazing. I mean, you forever going to eat off that song. Forever. Yeah. It took a minute, man. Honestly, because we were so young when we started. Everybody was coming out with something. So we were really considered like just the young kids we don't know nothing mm-hmm. we the youngest and then we were one hit wonders you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying because the song mm-hmm. was so big mm-hmm. it's hard to surpass your first hit you know what i'm saying um and then you take a break we came back we've had reunions and stuff and so to see it now to where two generations later are singing it and we have adults kids grandparents People in college, you know, it it's amazing. I I God is good, man. So let me ask you this. What would you say about what would you say to the the woman that's trying to come up or the girl that's trying to come up or the group mm-hmm. that's trying to come up and get the next hit song or song that's gonna last as long mm-hmm. as y'all what kind of advice would you give them? Whew. Man. Advice for an artist would be learn your craft, learn the history of your craft. And learn the business. We we grew so fast. We didn't have time to Google entertainment mm. lawyers and percentages. And when we signed, we were 17 and 16. Mm-hmm. And our parents had to sign for us. Half of them were in it. Well, two of the parents were in a club. You know, so everything happened so fast. We were just on go, go, go. Mm-hmm. We signed away our publishing. We didn't mm-hmm. know it. Damn. And Damn. everybody was like, oh, y'all didn't get a lawyer. Y'all supposed to. When you have a song being played on the radio that's not mixed or mastered, (laughs) you're fighting against time. You don't have time to tell the world, wait. You just go with the flow. Definitely. So learn as much as you can. Um, When you aren't in the spotlight, that's your artist artist development time. You you do your vocal training. What do you mean by that? Elaborate on that more. Um, working out when you're not in the spotlight, that's the most beautiful time because you're working on your image. You're working on how you sound. You're working on your, your business partners, Mm -hmm. your, your team, you're building your team, your real team that's going to be with you. Um, you're learning how you sound. You're learning birth control, how to record, how to perform, Mm. How to network, you know, networking with other people, building shows together. A lot of people are not going to get that, though. Yeah. They're not going to understand that part. They just, you know, like I said, they get it fast. Y'all got it real fast. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people just won't understand how to take their time with it. You know what I'm saying? The business is super important. I mean, I got a lot of contracts on in me at the beginning that I was like, oh, shit. And it's overwhelming. Yeah, We were getting 30-page contracts, Mm. 50-page contracts. Whose parents knows the ins and outs right. of even right. where to take they you. They just you see can that have, advance money right. and be like, all right, right. we in there. Sign it. We ain't had no advance money. We ain't had no advance money. Uh-oh. We ain't had no advance <laughs> money, Holiday. Oh, y'all had show money, though. Holiday. What? We ain't had no advance money. I mean, when look. we started getting show money, we quit because uh-uh. it was too much. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh-huh. Everybody get bad deals. You, yeah. If did you, That first deal is always bad. Uh-huh. I'll talk. I'll say it. <laughs> Um, if you could, if you could, oh, cook. for females, yes, advice for females. Um, don't compromise yourself, mm. don't um, sell yourself short, don't try to be somebody you're not, don't try to play a role or f- try to fit into an image. Try mm. to be yourself, and those people who like you for you will gravitate towards you. It mm. might not be as many, right? Or right away. But when you find your village and you sit with those people, they'll grow with you. Mm. Definitely. That's dope. You could clear something up for me. Um, it was something in the news a couple of days ago. 
about uh, the history or how the the whole layout of the song was created. And um, I mean, I was just interested. I, I think somebody tried to clear it up. You can have your sip of your drink, but I just wanted to know: um, Did Diamond write her verse? Was that uh, what, did, did, did it happen like that? Or did Scrappy write it? Or I just wanted to know. Like I you know, did see that. I seen that, I and I and, and I was like, oh man, on the call sheet, she's coming to the show. So we so why not ask? Somebody that may know the answer. I mean, listen, <laughs> listen, and it was cleared up. I'm assuming it was cleared up. DJ A1, <laughs> he, he cleared it up and said that he had to re, you know, take his statement back and say, oh, no, Diamond did write a verse. Did it happen like that? That is not how it happened. Uh, oh, man. Well, okay. So what happened? <clears throat> what happened? Did Scrappy write the verse? Scrappy did not write the verse. So who okay. wrote the verse? So did you Scrappy write didn't the write the verse. Who I did not word? write the verse. Your brother wrote the verse. So did here's Diamond the thing. write her damn verse? <laughs> here's the thing, and I'm only gonna say this one time, and it's only gonna be on y'all's platform. Okay. 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 Uh oh. Y'all really want to know? Yes. Yeah. Everybody. Yes. <laughs> we want to know the whole staff. Y'all sure? Mm-hmm. Santa Claus wrote the you verse. You know what? You know what? Well, we know that A1, Scrappy didn't write it. We Scrappy know that didn't, write didn't write it. Scrappy didn't write the verse. A1 had to retract his Diamond statement. didn't write it. But Diamond didn't write it? We are living in the age of the Aquarius. Santa Claus wrote it. I am an Aquarius. <laughs> oh, my God. It's okay, been 22 well. years, and it's never been said. Uh-oh. Mm. So Santa Claus wrote it. Lil well, Jay. Oh. Wrote Diamond and Princess's verse. Wow. Damn. That you is heard it here really first on Dinner with dope. the Avery's. He wrote both of y'all. And he you know wrote, that's so dope for you to admit that. Yeah, like, because. And there's nothing wrong with him it's, doing that. It's nothing. Now, here's the thing. And the only reason why I'm saying this now is because it's been too much out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's track. time for everybody to start speaking the truth. Mm. Because the truth will set you free. That's Our true. truth is we were 14 and 15. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. When I started, when I wanted to be in the group, the boys wouldn't let me. I was a fan of Crime Mob first. Mm. They were already a group, mm -hmm. but they were doing it for fun. Okay. And I was like, hey, brother. <laughs> You got a CD? Who is the producer? What are you doing with your friends? Mm -hmm. Let me get in on this. He didn't want me to. I had to prove myself. I was always a writer. Yeah. I'm a writer. I can write scripts. I can write a movie. I can write a poem. It don't matter. But to be in Crime Mob, I had to let my brother lead. Mm. He's the oldest. Right. What he says goes. Right. It's his group. He made the beat. He the whistle. He made the beat. Yeah. He, like, so... It was just, all right, well, say this. Right. All right, cool. Yeah, we're making a book and ready to buy. And it worked. I didn't understand it at the time. Like, why are we shouting out all these terrorists? <laughs> Remember you know. five heartbeats when the, when, the, when the brother was putting <laughs> the, the <laughs> notes <laughs> in the bathroom yeah. and stuff? And I no matter. Drunk. No, yeah. but see, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's how it was. I did whatever I had to do to be in the group with them. Most definitely. Okay. And it was like, all right, I got to say that's fine. Nuck If You Buck wasn't our first song. Mm -hmm. We had other songs. So um, he actually wrote another song, another uh, one of our first songs. I wasn't in a group yet, and then I brought Diamond in to offset the boys, and I can have my own little girl group or whatever. Mm. So we started like that. We started in Ghetto Misses, and then we matriculated to Crime Mob. There was a thousand versions of uh, Nuck If You Buck, before yeah, it was playing on the radio from what I heard. Yeah, it was before. playing on the radio. My mama was in the background cussing. The oh garage door was going up. Southern Braid had his tags <laughs> in every two seconds of the song. But everything, again, happened so fast. So with Diamond's part, um, when she got in the group, I was working at McDonald's so that I can mm -hmm. buy everything That's for right. us. Um, so my brother really sat her down and was on some... Hey, say it like this, do this, mm -hmm. da, 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 wordplay. Da, da, da. We still have the audio. Mm -mm. Wow. That's pretty dope. But, you know, um, all in all, 
it's all about how you perform, how you um, how it comes off on record. It's a lot of men out there who don't write. It's a lot of females out there that don't write. That's true. I write for some males some of the biggest and some names. females. Hundred yeah. percent. Um, but ghostwriting is ghostwriting. With us, when it came down to picking the group, we had to go from thirty to six. Me and my brother put the group together. Wow. When it came down to actual publishing. It was because at the time we didn't know writing splits, publishing splits. We just, I told him, hey, whatever, whatever I get, make sure she gets the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's always fair. Right, right. There was never no, let me do one to be above her or try mm-hmm. to stand out. It was always, hey, we're here. Right, right. So 22 years later, there is no reason for anybody to act. Like mm. Beyonce. Well, there you go. <laughs> and I was gonna ask. Go ahead. About and that's that. the only reason why I'm <laughs> saying this stuff now, because if I don't, for so long I thought that keeping everybody's secrets and stuff would keep the group together mm-hmm. for the culture. Mm-hmm. So we can all move forward and get past this level and get to stadiums and festivals. Yeah, when y'all right. all together, y'all make money. Right, right. It's Beautiful. a business at the end of the day. But if we're going to keep doing the same circle with the same answers and excuses and lies, we're not going to get anywhere. So I'm going to start talking. What you say, but- So speaking of that, <laughs> speaking of that, you know, everybody saw the interview that Diamond did, you know, the mm-hmm. um, big ticket interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Shout out to big ticket, Jazz. How do you Shut feel up. about the interview? Did you kick her out of crime mob? Did you? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. No. I didn't have the power. It makes no sense. I was never jealous. There was never a, um, she got to go. I'm, I got to be the only one. I put her in the group. Right, right. A lot of people so said scrappy I wouldn't players. be... She didn't know Scrappy yet. Oh, okay, mm. okay. We're just getting the real history of this. She didn't know Scrappy no. yet until um, Scrappy got on our intro. And okay. we was at our other producer, Dirty Doc Jam. Um, we did Nothing But Anna, and then Scrappy did the intro to Nook If You Book. Mm-hmm. That was hard. And, um, yeah, so it was all full circle. But, uh, yeah, I saw the interview. Um, no, I didn't kick her out. That whole year and the year before that, she wanted to separate herself from the group. And she always uses Scrappy to separate herself from the group. And he acquiesces every time, (laughs) just not knowing, okay, let's rock the red carpet together. And that's what happens. For the Dirty Awards, the night before, she let us know she wasn't walking with the group. Mm. How did that make you feel in that moment? In that moment, I was like, here we go again. Mm. This isn't oh, You was any- used to it at that time. Yeah. we Dirty Awards is later in the year. You mm-hmm. got Ozone Awards first. You had the BT Hip Hop Awards sure. first. This is mm-hmm. 07. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Atlanta had a hell of award shows. Yeah. She didn't want to walk with the group for any of them. We did. Our second album came out in March. She didn't do promo runs. There's no South by Southwest. No no. I have to do your parts. I got to rock my hips a thousand times extra hard because <laughs> you aren't here. Shit. I got to be Miss 32 Flavors and Princess. That's not fair to me. Right, right. So you would think it'd be so easy as much as just to y'all sit in a room together. And she don't want to no, sit no, no, in a no, room. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, just for the whole big scheme of it, it's for the money, of course. We've I mean, tried I, I that. I like and to think that doesn't, moves. And it doesn't work ever. It just doesn't. I've sat her down to say, hey, write it down. Write down everything. If I wore the wrong color one day, if I said shut up and you didn't like it, if write it down, let's address it one by one. It never happens. So what do you think personally, mentally? Where does that deeper root? Where do you think that issue comes from? It just in, in being with her from day one, you brought her in the group. You said it. Where does that come from? The, the not wanting to be a, maybe a team player Walking mm-hmm. on the carpet by herself with somebody. Else. It had to start. Where Something did it start? What was the day you think it started? For her to feel that way. I think, um, honestly, coming into it, mm. I was just a vehicle to get to a bigger boat. Okay. Stay on this boat long enough mm-hmm. until you find another boat. 
Okay. Stay on that boat long enough until you find another boat. Stay on that boat long mm-hmm. enough. And t- but every time you get off the boat and go to a next one, you are tarnishing everybody's name. Mm. You're deframing everybody's character and spreading lies behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. It's been years of stuff behind the scenes mm. where we can't do shows because of this or that or she has to get paid double what we get like it's wow. it's been a lot so was it ever <laughs> was it ever a thought in you guys mind you being the leader it seems like a you a j saying uh oh, let's replace her with somebody who can mm. do the songs I, yeah, I've had those conversations. It's a lot with of rowdy. Guys. It's a lot of female rappers. I, I'm not saying that. Nothing to I've take had away those diamond, conversations but. a lot of times. The guys don't want to do it. Okay. Uh, so after all this time, majority though, would you rules. Think that it, it wouldn't. Be I'm not even, letting nobody off to the bag. If man, even sorry. if she had a problem with me, why haven't you ever taken the guys on the road with you or do a show with them oh, or yeah, yeah, yeah. have them in a cameo on all of these reality shows? Why have they ever been in the background for anything? They ain't never been on no song with your like. Man, mm. I tell you, back in the day, but they replace your ass. Be like, somebody and, else hey, spinning up man, there. Look, new edition, Temptations. It's what? about the brand. Crime right, Mob is exactly. a million, multi million that nigga Bobby dollar Brown brand. Up, that nigga Johnny Gill and that motherfucker like, huh? You gotta go. <laughs> and yeah. nobody is bigger than the group. Right. Nobody. So y'all don't have like round table. I, me, I don't do that. I who lose handles, every time. Who handles y'all bookings? Is everybody separate? Or? Johnny Cabell. Uh, holiday. Who you call if it ain't Johnny? <laughs> Johnny. My if it ain't Johnny. Got the phone with Johnny. If you if it's not Johnny, Johnny, just took over Sticky's booking. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Johnny handled it last year because I quit okay. after. Johnny's amazing. So it was All you at first. Yeah. Well, okay. Johnny initially. Okay. And then okay. after the group broke up, two thousand eight to 2022. Wow. I try to get the bad stuff. 2008 to 2022, Princess booked the shows, rented the vehicle, booked the hotels, drove to the venue, Mm. picked up the money, drove back. (laughs) Yeah. Dedication. And still got to split it evenly. Mm. While doing two parts, hype man for everybody, sound check, always the only one there. Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> How long am I just supposed to stay quiet and be the bigger person? I mean, everybody else talking, so why can't you talk? I might I as mean, well talk. You yeah. might stop stop being quiet about it. Let it go. Let she it go. Quiet. She would just wait for the right platform. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, you look. Or the right time to just speak yeah, up about it. Because you get fed up. Only so many people can just keep poking you and poking yeah, you. Yeah, you know? and it's it's yeah. been a lot yeah. of pokes behind the scenes, man, if y'all knew. <laughs> but I, I feel like ain't nobody trying to burn nobody's house down and then like this. So at the end no. of the day, this all helps out the group and the brand and the, the yeah, bookings. It keeps people Sometimes you got to burn stuff down you know, and like rebuild you said, it. Tw- was it 25 years, you said? 22. 22 years, and y'all still 20. talking about crime mob. Look, if you buck, the song to get played every damn day of the year. Yeah. Every damn day. Every day. That's, That's amazing, man. So, you- so look, what about the female? So what about the female <laughs> bo- beefs that's going on right now? How you feel about those beefs? Ooh, like some of these, Jesus. they that, going, they taking low blows, talking about yeah. people's mamas, airing yeah. out their business. Like Mm-mm. some personal stuff Mm-mm. is being dished out. How do you feel about that right now? Who is your Mm-mm. favorite rapper in Atlanta? Ooh, how you go from that to that? I know, that's so <laughs> random. Just cut off my question. No, no, no. My favorite go. rapper in Atlanta. That's the easier question. Let me see. Right now or of all time? Well, I mean, because a lot of them are beefing at the moment. So that's what I was saying. Oh. um, Favorite rapper in Atlanta? Probably Future. No, 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 no. Okay. Do yeah, the question you over. shouldn't even ask. <laughs> yeah, do it. I think she did it wrong. Like, cutting me off. Do the, I'm sorry. Do the question over. <laughs> God, what do I do think about over. all of the, the female beefs? Yes. Yeah. Um, Female beefs. Sometimes it's needed. Mm. Um, Do you think they going too far though with some of the low blows no. they dishing out, I think so. or is beef with is with no the limits. with the Mama Graves sites yeah. and, and and Daddy Graves site? Hey man, that's why I don't I don't like I. Mm. Thank God it wasn't no groups back when y'all was popping and still popping, but back when y'all was like a, another group of girls and. 
guys. No, nah, that would have been hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. That, I like would, competition. Yeah. I, I like to see healthy beef, you know. So um, let me see. Cardi and Nikki. Uh, it's been going on so long. I feel and like Megan. the media well, really did start that. Start that one first. That's the top okay, of the, the top. Right yeah. Time. That hurt my heart for a minute. Um, who are you signing with? Who am I siding with between Cardi and Nikki? Mm-hmm. <laughs> can't do that. When it, comes, that? when it comes to the music, Nikki. When Nikki and Cardi was beefing, Nikki. When it comes to when I see you, it's on site, Cardi. Mm. Okay. Okay. Megan and Nikki. <laughs> Ooh. Sha. <laughs> how, they, how you feel? That's right. your girl. Like, yeah. How you feel about <laughs> like, it? I've been man. getting harassed online. <laughs> he has definitely been getting harassed by yeah, the oh, real. Yeah. Oh, man, so, them Barbies don't play. Listen, but he posted a picture with Lotto. The other uh, day, you know, he's filming a oh, show with, with thing. her, uh, and the, no, the listen, barbs this, went crazy on see, him. This is the thing. I went forgot crazy. Lotto in. Yes, I'm, I'm in a I'm in a weird situation with. The oh, barbs. but you did. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just forever. It's gonna be forever that you love can there for them. But no, you but, can be but, one of the ones that patch it up. Yeah, you're right, and 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 you know what? And, and I feel like in in a, in a certain way I did because me and Lotto got really cool doing that TV show, and we talked, and mm. I and she explained to me off the rip, mm-hmm. like she knew what it was when we were doing videos and shit on our mm-hmm. phones. Like she would, but she made it very clear, like bro, I don't got no smoke with her. Yeah, I, I, I mean, well, I mean, it is what it is, but mm-hmm. at the same yeah. time, I ain't backing down from shit. I'm from Atlanta, yeah, right, but at right. the same time, like you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. like it ain't no smoke. We can get it. I don't like, even yo, know we, what we, we can. We can rap battle or we can motherfucking, you know, whatever. But ain't nobody finna do nothing to nobody, mama, or no shit like that. Right, right. Shit ain't real. So at the end of the day, it's just really fans beefing with fans type shit. But it's some personal matter that hasn't it's been some, yeah. resolved, and that's pretty much it. But but you know, they think you're supposed to stay loyal. No, 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 no. Yeah. Anybody oh, yeah, yeah. So, she so don't I mess took, with, I, you can't mess with So either. I took the picture and I posted it. <laughs> and man, you when I tell you, no, and I, but I didn't think of it like that because at the end of the day, I'm thinking like, Yo, Nikki, my sis. Yeah. Yes, I love her to death. She did amazing. We, we we did we did something amazing yeah, together. Yeah, did. Mm-hmm. Cause there ain't no tug and pull. It ain't like she swooped in and gave me a million dollars nothing like that. But we did mm-hmm. something together, dope. But at the same time, I felt it, and I understand what the fans feel like too. And that and that they already just be on some wild shit anyway. So yeah. I just was like, no, guys, this is a TV show. This is work. I gotta do that. And I I, I answered maybe like three DMs, but I got like <laughs> a bunch of them that was like, how dare you? <laughs> Man, you know, don't you ever come back to the barbs on it? Oh, like, oh my fucking <laughs> yeah. god, them, my them barbs, man. But now, shout out to the barbs, man. They are reckless. Shout out to all of the women. <laughs> um, I like it though, I like the competition. I wish, uh, you know, the next level of the beef should be the same beat, stick to the subject matter, mm-hmm. you know, and all of them, Lotto, Megan. Nikki, Cardi, all y'all get the same instrumental. Who going to make the best song? Mm. Mm. That's a good idea. Diamond, Princess, same beat. <laughs> Who going to make the best That's song? That's a good idea, too. Listen. You know, Left Eye, she challenged her group members before she passed. Well, Left Eye was from She was like, I breed. challenged my group members <laughs> to make the best EP album. Wow. I'm, really I'm, idea, I channel though. that energy. Yeah, Who want to do it? Keep it creative. So listen, if Set they did that, if they did that, Nikki, uh, Megan, Cardi, same beat. Who you think would have the best song? And Lotto. And Lotto. Who would I have think, the best song? Mm. I think Lotto would have the first best. Damn. Yeah. Hook and verse. Mm. Just because, of, well, I say because. She's just right now. She's doing everything mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. And she still has that hunger. Yeah, that she, she still got to something to prove. One, for sure, mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. Um, second would probably be Nikki. Okay. There you go. Y'all was... <laughs> yeah, I was going to give it to her. I was going to give it to her. Because Nikki is a student of rap. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. for sure. She is a rapper. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's been going on. These uh, last are you, are you anticipating weeks. Cardi dropping her new song Friday? Or when it comes out? Or new nah. music period? 
Uh, Cardi, you mentioned the wrong crime up member in that snippet Uh-oh. you did. Oh, <laughs> you okay. said you gonna call Diamond the Nuck and Buck. You calling the wrong fighter? Oh, okay. okay. I <laughs> so see what you for did that. There. I almost called Nikki and Akbar and was like, let's <laughs> run up. Uh, don't do that. I'm just don't playing. Do I'm that. just playing. But uh, just to keep it fair, you know. Okay. That would have been cute. It didn't rhyme. But, it didn't you, rhyme. you know. It didn't rhyme. Um, third would be. Uh, That's it. You said it. Third would be Megan and then Cardi. And Cardi. But I love them all in their own different ways, and they all were helpful to boost the female hip hop. Mm hmm. Scene. Dope. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the food is here. Yes. And it looks scrum dilly um piss. Scrum dilly fucking um shit. Uh and today, uh not our usual suspect, but we have an amazing yeah. chef by the name of Chef Taj. Like the Taj Mahal. Taj, Taj Mahal. Yeah. He has Thank made us a coming, beautiful day. I, just, listen, I just like to be here. That's see, it. We, got, hey, we got guests today, man. You got, I see. You get to show out. Royalty. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Yeah. What, what does Nuck of You Buck mean to you? Did you ever listen to that and oh, yeah. whip up some I, fake I graduated in 2004. That's Oh, Oh, nigga, you look like one of them niggas that wore black Air Force One. Yeah, let's go. Hey, long, the long tees and all that. Come on. Let's go. you one of them Oh, you a stuff. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What have you prepared for us today, I bro? I started eating. Look, you, I'm like, you want I'm the bougie you name, or you want just something? We want yeah, nah, nigga, quick. do that yeah, bougie shit right, for so Instagram, bro. That's a chicken roulade, okay. all right? Cool. It's just stuffed with um, sausage, with the chicken sausage. Mm-hmm. It's basically cornbread dressing, so I did. I made some fresh cornbread, chicken sausage. Hold on, what you say with a cornbread at? It's stuffed in, in the middle? In the middle. Mm-hmm. You put cornbread in the middle of chicken? Yeah, like a cornbread dressing. How the heck? I this thought you said it was chicken sausage. Yes, yeah, it's, it's chicken sausage, cornbread dressing. Wow. Yeah, stuffed in there. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's and this creamy it, stuff on it? Uh, at the So the bottom, the sauce, are you talking about? The what's sauce, it sitting uh-huh. on? Uh, it's just a maple a maple glaze, mm. a little fresh uh, sage, and then we got some orzo, creamy orzo pilaf with some fresh spinach. This is really good. I try, I try. I I'm about to, I'm about to bite this chicken. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, man. How long does it take for this to cook? It took some time, now. Mm. So the chicken, it was a chicken breast, or just a regular chicken breast. I pounded it out. I put the stuffing in the middle, rolled it. I was about to say it's okay. round. That's though. why I was going to ask how you put did that. Put it in a sous vide, which is a nice little water oven. A what right. now? A sous vide. Okay. So basically, it, it basically oven. cooks it, cooks whatever. You can put meat, potatoes, whatever you want to put in there. And it cooks it kind of like right under to where you want it to be. So the chicken, you know, you know, normally you're supposed to cook chicken at 165 degrees. Mm. Put it in the sous vide for about 150. Hmm. And it basically keeps it at that temperature without, without that it That nigga fancy? I've never in my <laughs> life heard of a sous vide. A sous vide. That's it. I Check want it a sous vide for Brenda, Brenda. you ever been a sous vide? in the house for about 100, no. 100 bucks. No. Really? Yeah. You know, she cooks. She really yeah. like. She'll she really cooks. Okay. I need a sous vide. You can get one. I'm telling you. It's going to change your life. What, what, you, what you like to eat? You can put anything in it. That's why I'm asking. You can put anything in it. Um... Fish, chicken, lamb. Yeah, all that. Man, ain't really cornbread dressing to him. Some lamb? Really yeah. It's gonna be in the a most... sous vide? Yeah. So what is it, like a boiling so you get, pot? So you have you have to get like a food saver, right? You know, you get the plastic. It'll suck all the air out of it. Mm-hmm. Right? You season it up, put it in there. Then you oh, put it in. It's called a, we, we could call it like a water oven. Mm-hmm. It just it just turns the water around, and it just sits there. So I'm, for that chicken. Holiday is having a party in his mouth. Yeah, man, listen, I try. I appreciate that. I'm like, it's these sauces. Yeah, damn, and the, yeah, I just do what I do. That's and you it. said it's a maple well, sauce. Well, it's the best food I've ever had. I'll fuck with it. It kind of tastes like teriyaki, but yeah. it's a maple. Okay, this yeah, is really, it's like a party on my tongue. It's a party in the mouth. Zooey, just Stop it. You, right. Your mind is in the gutter. You, you on your <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Chef, what's your favorite dish to cook? Like, if your your go-to dish, your favorite mm. one, what is it? You got a little seafood tender paella. coming on. What you making? Seafood paella. Seafood paella. Yeah, yeah. That? It's a Spanish Ooh. dish. So it's rice, it's rice some saffron, of- saffron, and a bunch of seafood. You could do mussels, calamari, mm-hmm. shrimp. Whatever you want, a little chorizo, spend the sausage. We have a single person that works for us. So uh oh, <laughs> she, she eats maybe twice. You a do week. you like oh, seafood paella? No, you do? Okay, all right now. Who her eyes got wide? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're right. Ooh. When it's May, right? Right. When it's May, right? 
But yeah, that's my that's my go to. Well, this is really delicious, dope. This bro. is really mm-hmm. good, mm-hmm. and I you never know, had you it took before. your time with this. Hey, that's what I do. I've been doing this what my you whole got? life. I love it. Thank you. I'm over here trying to see when I can get me a, a sous-vide. A sous-vide. 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 I'm going to look that up when I leave. Amazon okay. got them? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. S-O-U-S-V-I-D-E. S-O-U. Oh, like sous Okay. Yeah, like a sous okay. chef or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What would you sous-vide. say to any inspiring chefs out there, man, that's, uh, you know, they, they're seeing you obviously on a dope platform. They're trying to get to their position, but they're just cooking in their one-bedroom apartment. Just focus on Just focus on what you're doing. If you're passionate about it, let let your pastor speak for it. Um, me, I I'm living my dream. Right? Mm, I've wanted to be a I wanted to be a chef since I was in the sixth grade. Mm, like really? I, knew, I knew I wanted to be a chef. At home ec? I didn't even have home ec till like senior, wow. senior year in high school. I was killing mm. home. Ec. So you just, just experimenting <laughs> at home with different stuff. Oh, nah. Oh, you didn't do that? I wasn't even able to do that. You know, back really? in the day. Really? I was in home because all the girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to do a little grilled cheese when you had the house. That's right. about it. But right. I just it's... I just like the fact that you could do so much with food, right? Wow. You know, I was watching little cooking shows. You might watch three or four in a row. They got the same ingredients and have completely different dishes. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So for me, I was just, I was just kind of sold on that. See, I knew shit is Costco. Where do you get the bulk of your shit from? Um, Costco. well, I price, I price everything else. So I might go to a uh, restaurant, depot, Costco, okay, Sam's yeah. club. Mm-hmm. Might you go like to the farmer's Costco, market. Right? Costco's all right. It's all right. Do Look at you. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. Costco. Yeah. Love Costco. <laughs> my favorite spot. <laughs> Costco but yeah, that's, that's what kind of sold me on it. So I just feel like with me, you know, every time I'm cooking something, doesn't matter what it is. If for, that's the time for me to perfect it. Right? Nice. So if, if you really love, if you love it, you know, take your time with it. Man, tell everybody where to follow you on Instagram, big dog. Instagram, chef underscore Taj Yusef Boyd. Yeah. Um, and my TikTok is just chef Taj Yusef Boyd. And you do all the brunches and all that other I stuff. I do it like all. Cute Date shit. nights. Yeah. Yeah. So Date book. nights. Date nights. Book me now. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, I will. Yeah, I do yeah, Date nights. I do, I do a little with bit With the presentation and everything. Wait, with hey, the man, if you hooking up yeah. chicken like this, you can come over. <laughs> Listen. She don't <laughs> eat no seafood. No, I don't. <gasps> I don't. Nothing. Listen, Wait. Nigga, this shit good. Are you allergic or, or you just don't eat seafood? I get, you know, that's the one question I get every time. I'm not allergic. I just have never had anything I like. <gasps> gotcha. And hey, I've yeah. tried hey, cheap, so much different Holiday. Holiday. Leave it alone. You ain't got to say nothing. Holiday. I ain't got to say nothing. We She'll fight. We're going to get you on some lobster tails. Man, she what? won't eat it. She won't eat none of that I've shit. I've never, I've tried to taste all of that stuff, and I've never tasted any of that. Some every, seafood, every nachos. Every Jesus every, Christ. No, about. I love With some spicy. shrimp and some lobster and we're some. We're going to have to have a cook off. And some mahi you know mahi. Need. Come on. Listen. Mahi mahi. Come on. Okay, you do cook. All okay. is some oh, nachos now. Okay. Come on now. I know. Come on. I might not make no paella. <laughs> I can make some nachos. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> Man, that's dope. We might have to get y'all both back for real and have Listen, a cook-off. I'm, I'm with yeah. you. Let me know Listen, when. that's dope. And next time you come, I want you to make some type of seafood so I can taste it. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. What? Right. Everybody Wait, shot, I am like, so I gotcha. like. How you going to eat his seafood I'm with <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't wait for you to come back and you cook me seafood. Babe, I taste what you give me. I Man, just I'll never be like fucking it. up some shrimp and salmon. You crazy. You probably undercooked. It's probably like still it. slimy or something. Wow. But no, I've tasted like we go to we go to Papa Do's and I've tasted his dishes. Y'all niggas is disrespecting like me right now. <laughs> Ebony. Mm-hmm. Shrimp and I can't oh, cook. Man, no, babe, the, you uh, can cook. The, no, babe, I can cook. No, you say that cook. shit with the some The stuffed fear, shrimp, though. Mm. The stuffed shrimp. There you go. Crab you cakes. Up shrimp? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Woo! Crab cakes. Your crab cake don't taste like your crab cake don't taste like Papa Do's crab cake. Professionally, professionally. Crab cake like Papa, Papa Do's better than Papa Do's. Don't play with wow. me. Papa Do's. Papa Do's. All right. But I'll pay you right now to go old. make a crab cake. <laughs> what a crab at? What you want? Jumbo lump? The one for Papa Do's, nigga. Wait, hold on. Is there breaded? Yes. Yeah. That shit tastes like heaven on a plate. I made Maryland crab cakes. <laughs> All right. Ain't nothing better than and Maryland crab cakes. And the crab cakes, cakes like thirty dollars a crab you know, cake. Should be bussing, listen, or more. Bussing. We get I some Maryland. Understand. We get some Maryland crab cakes. We're gonna talk. You, man. Your life will be changed. Thank it's, you, it's Chef Todd. Y'all give a round of applause, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, the food was amazing. Shout out to Chef Todd, man. He did an amazing job. Best shit I done had in a week. Man, it was really. What you trying to say? Well, I cooked this week. Nah, you ain't cook like that. Oh. But your food was busting, though. Your food was busting. <laughs> nah, you did good. I don't know what happened to I ain't really cooked nothing like that, though. Yeah, you made so spaghetti. You know. Yeah, that don't, don't count, right? Okay, it don't yeah, count. It, it don't count. It counts. It's, it's it counts. Right. So speaking of cooking and, you know, if you were, like, cooking for a person, mm-hmm. you were 
significant other. I mean, mm-hmm. are you in a relationship? I am not. Okay. I'm, so, with, I'm with Jesus. <laughs> Man, whatever. So if you were in a relationship, <laughs> mm-hmm. what would be your dish you cook for him? <clears throat> Pussy. My d- Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Eats the meat. <laughs> um, y'all. It's... Uh, when I am in that mode, it's whatever he wants what to eat. What you mean in that mode? Because I, it, mm-hmm. it comes in spurts. Relationships come in spurts yeah, for me. Right. I can't be career driven mm. and wow. like ask Oprah. you how your day was and mm. a thousand questions in one. My mind just something is gonna fall short. What's so your sign? Inst- Aquarius. Yeah, mm. Air sign. <laughs> We don't like to conform or be held down. Mm. You ever had sex to your song? Whoa. What? You are the most <laughs> um, random no, question. Uh, no. That's I don't think. No, I don't think. Your song ain't never came on while you was getting the pop. Ever. You a liar. A song has come on on Pandora, but I've never been like, let me put my stuff on my playlist. I your song. <laughs> I'm finna I just think ride that him to me. No. Bye, man. What else? <laughs> no, no, but um, I would uh, you know, it'll you'll have an appetizer. Let's say, what's the last time I cooked for a man? <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, this person, oh, uh oh, <laughs> on the person. next episode, Uh-oh. this person um, w- uh, had shrimp salad for appetizer. Okay. Um, shrimp salad. steak, steak, shrimp, and lobster Damn. over Damn. <laughs> over okay. some Parmesan potatoes okay. and some um zucchini. Okay, and I shrimp beans. <laughs> yeah, I I do great green beans. I know. Uh, uh, Nigga, did he get the draws? What? <laughs> You cooked them three for different dessert proteins. Dessert <laughs> after my massage and foot rub. Okay. Oh my! Yeah, he been for dessert. Could that nigga he lost had some steak and shrimp. Princess's finest <laughs> with her own juices and whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful night. Beautiful night. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so I got some questions. How you doing? <laughs> In relationship. Questions, and I want y'all to tell me if this is true or false, right? So every time you date someone, Mm. you're not really the person they want to be with. The person they want to be with just didn't get their act together. Is that true or false? Wait, hold on. Say it again. Some the person that I want to be with. Yeah. So when you date somebody, you're really not the person that they wanted to be with. The person they really wanted to be with just didn't get their act together. Hmm. I seen that on Instagram. (sighs) Um, true or false? Say it again. <laughs> I feel like it's the victim shaming in here or something. Feel, okay, so the girl meets the guy. The mm-hmm. guy doesn't really want the girl. So she moves on to someone else. Oh, and then she moves on to somebody else. I thought the dude, okay. I mean, either way, either way, if the dude mm-hmm. moves on or the woman moves on, is that the truth? Like, who you're with now is the person you really don't want to be with, but you with that person because the person before that person didn't oh. get their stuff together. I can answer that. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead or baby, you, you no, you're baby, with go. that person because go, that person couldn't get their shit together. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Answer. Yeah. Um, have true I been false. that person? No, I'm saying oh. is that true or false? Yeah, that's true to a certain extent. So what about you, babe? Is that true to you? Do you think that's true? I think it's true for most males. Yeah, mm. it's true for most males. Okay. I think females will be in a situation more off of survival. Mm. 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 Yeah, Hoes is hoes to survive. <laughs> well, speaking of that, does your body <laughs> count make you a hoe? Hell no. <sighs> does your body count My make turn. you a hoe? <laughs> No, <laughs> not necessarily. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That shit. Do you really? That's some because kid you shit. can have a whole mentality and not really act on it, and really, really deep down be a hoe. You just ain't never acted man, look, on man, it. You, 
Yeah. Listen, whatever. If you dating a girl and she tell you, oh, yeah, I've been with three, four niggas, man, <laughs> multiply that shit times eight because that half of that them is niggas. That is not always but true. But stop playing. I don't bro. know about by eight, but. <laughs> by eight. Women. It's, it's, it, you at least off by women four. Women don't want to be judged. Man, y'all would have a Based drunk off night. of their sexuality. You shouldn't. I feel like after a certain amount of years, some of them bodies should get dropped off. They definitely need <laughs> to be. you do. If it only <laughs> happened one time. If there right. was no head involved, what? And Some after seven years, they gotta come what off are like crap. Talking about Just man, like your, they, your body count. Yo, some of them gotta come off. Yeah, it they, wasn't they worth it. Count. I don't Y'all remember. Can't erase a body because if that nigga I'm see you in public, erasing. he'll be like, mm-hmm. Yeah, no. If I Rocky see you hips, in public and it was look, if that pussy was booked, all right, I know. Ain't nobody ever seen me and said, mm-hmm, I pass. They oh, remember. Yeah. I, oh yeah. And they remember. Hello? They remember. This your big dog now. <laughs> they re. Oh, oh yeah. 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 You want to go there? Like we ain't been in some room. Call him. I'm not. Uh-oh. All right, then. <laughs> Nigga, I was there. Uh, the, and, and you not saw there, him. Oh, but, but you saw that. You saw them eyes light up. I did. All right. I okay. Did. You, I did. you saw. You saw you him turn into a person. You were like uh, You are crazy. No, when I was I'll done, I was like, "Hey, what we gonna do now?" Let's I know, I'm with you. So look, if King, if King ever got bold enough and he knew about body count and he asked you yours, <laughs> would you tell him asked that? your okay. body count? Or would you, like you said, some of the men get knocked off after a certain amount of time? I mean, or would you not even tell him? Hold on. Oh, yeah, go ahead. First off, I'm like, child, you're a child. Stay in a child's <laughs> Stay in place. Stay in a child's place. Exactly. You said he's a teenager. If you know how you, how you got here, <laughs> the night me and your father had... Off of Wings and Jack Daniels. <laughs> Wings and Jack Daniels? And we prayed after, because I knew that moment I was wow. pregnant. I was like, mm. She said she knew. I knew. Yeah. I was like, Did you know yeah, you was let's pregnant? Pray. Pray. I did not know. Both times. I, I mean, I gave him permit. He was like, I'm there. And I was like, go ahead. It was. <laughs> What the hell did you in say? The, in the heat of the moment. He was like, oh, oh, I'm yeah. in I was like, yeah, yeah. dude, go ahead. <laughs> said, go ahead. You yeah, know, man. in the heat of the moment. In the like, heat of the moment. Y'all got to say it in a sexy way. It was, what, what, it, 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 it was, do no. It, do it, let's pa- procreate. Do it, let's, make a, let's make a human being right now. Do it, papi. Nah, do man. It let's was just, a, let, okay. Let's go have uh, a baby. Load her up. Let's go. And then he did it for real. And I was like, the fuck? Ebony, Ebony gets me every time. Hey, bro, we got to pray right now. In the she name can, of Jesus, we finna have a healthy baby. Fart for me, baby. I mean, it's, it's a rap for me. <laughs> it's her voice. It's just like <laughs> mesmerizing. Oh, my God. You know what? Because she don't talk like that. I do not. Oh, you so know. when it come out, it's out. Oh, yeah. When it come out, it's shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> don't say Risk nothing. It. She be like. But Risky bees. You got to be a lot of lemon drops. A lot of lemon drops. Oh, hell yeah. And you got to catch me before I fall asleep. And then she turned into somebody else. <laughs> you got to catch me before I fall asleep. Like, that animal come out. Oh, yeah. It's a little nah, time frame. See, got, and that's the thing. I got raped like, last time. You got to. Yeah. <laughs> women, we have to own our sexuality. I really feel like I'm, yeah. I'm finishing a study, a real study. I'm finishing it. Um, yeah, to figure deep, out man. why women have so many um, ovarian problems. Yeah. Um, uterine problems. I really feel like because we insert yes. everything and we already yes. hold so much trauma and stuff in our hips and in that area, mm. nine times out of ten, when we have sex, we're not releasing the way we're supposed to. We are clenching and holding in and mm. all of y'all that. Wear, y'all wear thongs. Y'all be holding that shit. They don't that have nothing, nothing to do, to do with it. When all. you nut, you you're supposed to me. release. I'm, just, I'm assuming. I we even we they absorb say afterwards, but I still you still don't get. Yeah, everything. you're not. You're not. Like, yeah, you we know? supposed to be shaking like y'all shake. We supposed. <laughs> Yeah, see, y'all want to, you can't. Uh, you, yes, we can. Yes, we definitely can. can. Listen, it, the thing I is, condo, the foreplay right has now. to be like an hour long what? of eye gazing and intimate conversation and commando. back rubs and stuff. It's not just take your pants off, let me fuck. Right. <laughs> it, it's a <laughs> whole thing. We got to get warmed up, sensory Let's mechanisms, right to everything it, like, it? has to happen. I don't know. Are you there? Yeah, you gonna play? Y'all be I trying to. That. I don't y'all know just be that. trying to hit I with the never just with the little hip shit. poke real quick. We supposed to. All right, here we, here you go. And why y'all doing you this right now? The, 
And it like, God, nigga that, up here with me. Here we go. Charlie wants a head. Come on, Charlie. Get really? It. <laughs> it, it like, it just, just oh, put it there. Y'all want the same little goddamn. Come on. Bam, bam, bam. It, it, Listen, they every time is a, a massage. Listen, and then a be massage creative. Is with some extra being stuck, it wasn't supposed to be. Be there. creative. Massage <laughs> the hair. Let me wash hey, your man, hair you one time. Talk about Let my me... go-to move. Okay? <laughs> what? Fuck you. <laughs> That massage, boy. You want to massage like, it out? You want to massage it out? I bought like... some oil off Amazon. <laughs> this shit, man, they say it smell like the real spa now. Look. I got see, that shit. I, I got, got that music. shit from motherfucking. Yeah, baby. I got the music, but nah, just, you I be, know. I be hitting it with that, and then I make her smell my hands. Because it smell like the oil. I get it right there. It's that soothing, sleepy it's shit. That, no, it, 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 and it all like, makes boy, boy. the difference. You know, she has to be into it. We're multi-orgasmic. Mm. After the first one, our body is turning on for more. We're not shutting down. That's when we turn That's up. Very true. Like, and men are like, all right, we class. did our job. All right, yeah, here we go. I put in up. all seven minutes. Why are you sounding like... <laughs> <laughs> be like the hey, fuck? Man. What are we doing here? I gotta give me a nigga. Up what are we doing? That's why I'm single. Cause I, <sighs> you, like, you want too much. You want a lot. I want more than seven minutes. <sighs> well, like sometimes all you need is five. Like is right. it's etiquette. You cannot. You seven. cannot. I go long with seven, eat man. a vagina <laughs> right when you just finish rolling the blunt. Oh, no. All that tobacco oh, and no. stuff. They like, absolutely not. They got that problem. You, like, oh, these no. dudes be out here, nails dirty. Mm-hmm. Who you fin? Like, come mm-hmm. on. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Who is teaching y'all? So my when my son, Fuck y'all. when my son come and ask me those questions, <laughs> I'm going to tell him. You know, I ain't going to tell him my hey, buddy. Man, can you we know? go to fan mail? <laughs> this is bullshit. I'm like, baby, this is how you how you please a woman. No. I, I'm teaching him now how to love a woman. Yes. And my son, For too. Valentine's Day, it was roses everywhere, all in the floor, bathtubs, every bathroom, closet, his son? room. I put them everywhere, everywhere. Who, who cleaned that up? <sighs> you did. You did it That's on the video. The and, and it was real them. roses, so they Ooh, stuck. They stained, after, too. They, uh, and they, was, Yo, they, they the made shit she prints on the floor. <laughs> they got a hotel room and a rich car and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lay out shit. Leave that she shit like, for the hotel. Yeah, the hotel, 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 hotel is cool. Do don't it do the, it at home. Man, at don't home, my son was like, Mom, was this necessary? I was like, hey, this is how you love yourself. You wake up. You see roses. Celebrate yourself first. So when you get a girlfriend, you will know how to celebrate her. That is fact. He was like, you're just so extra with everything. Mm-hmm. Hey, I love myself. That's what it is. Love yourself. That's it. We <laughs> ended with that. Listen. Boom. That's it? <laughs> no, we got to go to um, oh, okay. fan mail. That was dope. Thank you. Cool, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we have a fan mail question. Let's get to the fan mail. Hi, DJ Holiday and Risky. What advice would you give someone like myself who is currently wedding planning? Any tips or pointers? Save your money. I was about to say, go <laughs> to the courthouse. No, let me, no really? No, nah, man. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just say, saying, go ahead. I feel like when you have a wedding, honest to God, you are really having the wedding for everybody else. You're mm-hmm. not having that wedding for yourself. Yes, you got the idea of a dream wedding that you want. But it's really for all of them to sit and watch. I feel like it's a big waste of money. And I'm going to just be 100% honest. It's a big, Mm. big, big, big waste of money. I say you have a small wedding, intimate wedding with your immediate family, really close friends, and a huge reception for everybody else. There you go. That's what I say. And I say have a small wedding in the beginning just to and then get through the years of Relationship yeah. and, and then if y'all ma- if y'all have a, if y'all make it to five or ten years then yeah. turn up something big. So we we about to we almost said ten almost. We ain't almost at ten. We're at, what no, year we, are we at this year? Eight. Oh okay. I'll okay. play with me. <laughs> We're going on eight. Okay. But ten I want to turn up. So but we did good for. But yeah, I mean, I I that's say dope. don't don't compromise what you want though. If you want something big, if that's your dream, yeah. then by all means, if you Celebrate can afford it. Do it. You know, if it ain't going to set you back, don't. Mm, that's another like, key pointer. Don't have one of those big old weddings you're going to be paying for <laughs> years down the line. Like, don't yeah. do that. You ever got yeah. proposed to? Nah. Really? Mm-mm. 
So you want to say something to him, my <laughs> Say something to who? Whoever almost. <clears throat> to all was. of Because it ain't love. nothing to you. I hope you know he that. I know you're a You're a question. You, he done derail all my questions. First, with the marriage, and uh, it's a show called Marriage or I Mortgage. And the couples oh, really? go through this thing and they figure out which one would be more beneficial for them having a big marriage, um, a big wedding, or putting that money towards a house. Mm. And one couple almost broke up because uh, the guy wanted the marriage and the girl, I mean, the wedding, and the girl wanted the. Really? Um, the house. Wow. And she was like, babe, I don't, I don't, we don't need the big dress and this So it's and a that. wedding or a house. Yeah. Okay. They have that's enough, really, they have money set show. aside. How much and, is the house worth? Um, it was like whatever they were doing their house. down payment. Yeah. So that's like a really dope 20, way to look at it though. Cause I say, I say that too. Small wedding, mm-hmm. huge reception, huge, dope, long honeymoon. Like, After like a year. You know, yeah, like we made it the first right, year. But the money that you saving on doing a big huge wedding, put that towards your honeymoon. See, that's yeah. the first step of like, compromising what you were not ready for in a relationship. Because a, a, the, <laughs> the, the man might want a huge wedding. Well, and that's what I said. Yeah. It's, it's, it's you just something want that y'all gotta want. No, it's something that y'all gotta come to um together. Y'all gotta make that same <clears throat> y'all gotta be on the same accord when it comes to that. Whether he wants a wedding or you want a wedding, y'all got to somehow compromise and make it work for both of you to where you'll both find a happy medium, right? Yeah. But they asked my advice, <laughs> and my <laughs> advice would be something small and intimate with, like, my close family members and friends mm-hmm. so they won't feel like they left out or missing out. Then for the people that didn't get invited to that, <laughs> I have a big, huge reception for everybody to party and then we leaving and we going to a dope honeymoon. Like, mm-hmm. a dope somewhere out of the country, seven days if we can, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Spend the money on that. And then we have money left over to put towards our a expenses. House. And, you mm-hmm. know, like you said, a house or a new car or something. Because you can spend easily $100,000, yeah, $30,000. Like, you, it just depends on your budget and your dreams. But don't go to the Go and to, people like talking <laughs> shit anyway. Go to the courthouse if you want to. People yeah, don't no, talk that's about the flowers yeah. versus the, the flowers the, cost, the food the, cost, the alcohol, I don't know all that shit costs. They know the that. dress cost. Listen, like this is your first. So this is your money. first step in a relationship where y'all gotta make uh, plans together and compromise. So ask him what he wants, and you figure out what you want. Y'all find a happy medium. We'll see you exactly next time. Thank I you, dinner with the Averys. We love you. I'm just <laughs> what? And we out. Girl? And, and like he's that. serious, but we are. That's the end of the show. That is the end of the show. Uh, so Instagram. Much, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we princess that. going I digital. I was about to say, thank you so that. much, Princess, oh. for coming on the show <laughs> and being so open and real thank and answering you. our questions. Was mm-hmm. you open, though? Was she you? was. She answered everything. How much? Asked of her. <laughs> she oh asked God. everything, so thank you. I appreciate it. It's, I know you full-time mom, and we got yes. you away from King for a little bit, so thank you so much. Tell everybody where they I love y'all. you. Um, you can hit me on Instagram, Princess Going Digital. Um, my website, theprincessempire.com. New merch will be dropping in two weeks. Look out for that Knuckles yes. six part series with Nuck If You Buck on there on the soundtrack. Um, yep. Crunkville, welcome to Crunkville movie coming out this year. Nuck, the documentary coming oh, out oh, this oh. year. Enough is enough. Mm. My book what? coming out this year. Okay. What about a cookbook? Cookbook is coming. Okay. Cookbook is coming. It's it's gonna be different, but it's it's dope. It's mm. so dope. It's so dope. And for all the the, the single men out there that want to jump in your DM, single men, please don't waste my time. <laughs> don't, don't. Why you gotta come off like that? Just, say, we, just let's be just welcome. Be, just be welcoming. Welcome. And saying, yo, I am a celebrity that's I'm a looking celebrity. for dating. I am not looking to date. She says she, she's not looking. Yeah, she is, um, but she's not. She's focused on her career. And as you see, Listen, all those things she just she named. She's been killing her career she for 20 no years. She got time to date right now. Nigga. Now, the groupies, <laughs> who I do have time for. The groupies? Um, you hear that? A good eater from front to back. What? Head to toe. <laughs> I'm looking for you. Holiday wants me to find you. Come be found. I'm not looking for no eaters for you. Come, come. <laughs> Fuck come, out. come, come. All right, man. <laughs> come, come. Oh, my God. Until then, um, I do like long walks in the park. 
Um, I love children. <laughs> My child doesn't like me to date. Um, so yeah, no random men will be in my house. But the eaters will. The eater. Front to back. From front to back. I will find you. Stop it. And I will use all of your special skills. Thank you, princess. And we will have dinner. (laughs) Ebony, (laughs) she gonna cook you. you, Are you cooking for the eaters? Or no, they don't get cooked for. Depend how they eat. You gonna get some groceries. (laughs) Oh God. Groceries on this naturally built body. (laughs) <laughs> that has never been altered. Never went under a knife. Natural juices. What? Juices and berries. Speaking of juices, Ebony. <laughs> no, I just tried to... <laughs> wait, wait, what? We gone, bye. Like... <laughs> well, thank y'all for tuning in. That is the, the juice, show. Man. Y'all can follow us at Dinner with the Averys. And if you have any questions, any fan mail, any th- anything you want to see on the show, you can email us at asktheaverys at gmail.com or you can send us a DM at Dinner with the Averys. You can follow me at Risky Business 23. Follow me at DJ Holiday. Princess going digital. And thank that you is a wrap. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Princess. See you later. Love y'all. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You are crazy. <laughs>